Hi, good afternoon. I'm here with Bob Partridge from Training Progress. How are you doing, Bob? Fine, thank you. Nice to speak to you. And you, thanks very much for joining us on the Business Spotlight series. So if you could yeah, give us an introduction as to a bit more about who you are, what you do, how long you've been doing it for, please, Bob. Well, Training Progress is a training management system, and it came about because in my work as a veterinary surgeon, we have a large number of staff and trying to organize the training for those staff and making sure they're all keeping up to date and that we're processing newcomers into the business you know, became a real burden. And we had um, team members wandering around with clipboards trying to make sure that everyone was uh, current and it just became unmanageable. So developed a software solution, uh, which has been in development now and uh, continued improvement over the last 20 odd years. And a number of friends and uh, colleagues um, touched upon it and became popular enough to actually warrant saving it off as a separate business. So Training Progress is now a separate business to my veterinary practice, and uh, we provide this training management solution. But it's not just simply geared for veterinary surgeons. It's geared for any business that has a need to ensure that their um, staff are up to date, that their manuals, their SOPs, are actually being followed and they have a, uh, a document management system so um, we can update things and change things around um, you know, with that and therefore give us compliance to ISO standards and things like this. Fantastic. Sounds like a, a good purposeful product or service from uh, from a need that uh, you had and you've created into a business. Brilliant. Um, what would you say in terms of other options out there and things like that? Um, how do you stand sort of above them or with them? What's the kind of differentiation points and things like that for you? Yeah, I and mean, there are a number of um, LMSs, learning management software systems um, that are around and about. But the issue with them, I guess, from a business point of view is that they are very much focused on the learning as opposed to the practicalities of, of actually having a business. Um, we design training progress from the ground up to integrate into the needs of the business. So if we have different staff members, they have different roles and those roles have different training needs. And so we are training is or the, the way that the system is geared is to allow those training needs to be fulfilled. But we also put in a timing element. So uh, things like induction. Um, which is often neglected in, in many, many businesses, but it's actually a very key part to keeping staff members on board. But we have a, um, a system that allows us to identify things that are crucial for new staff members to learn and to be aware of within the first week or two weeks or month, um, depending on how you set the system. And it makes sure that that uh, is followed through. And one classic example for that is the um, the age-old thing of, of of health and safety and lifting criteria, and um, one of our uh, one of our, our users uh, was delighted to find that um, when he was faced with a claim from an employee that they uh, had injured themselves, was able to demonstrate conclusively that they'd actually followed um, you know, training protocols and they'd been the staff member involved had actually been properly trained and had signed off to actually having had that training. So when they unfortunately did get injured, um, there was then no claim against the employer. Um, so it's it's things like that. So it's a little bit of um, MYA, you know, the American system of mind your ass. Um, so trying to help protect the business from claims, but most importantly, designed to encourage um, staff development and staff progression. And also moving the needs of the, uh, or the or the requirement on the business to actually provide that training. I mean, my particular problem was my head nurse was spending all of her time providing training, which is not a bad yeah. thing, but it then meant she wasn't actually immediately involved in the care of patients. And so by having a system that devolved the training elements um, down so that more junior members of, of staff, once they were competent in a job, could actually then become trainers in that themselves. And they could then train new employees um, you know, coming in and making sure they were competent. So A, it's removing some of the burden from the senior members of staff, but also it's acknowledging that uh, more junior members of staff have developed 
and have gained expertise, but it's also then rewarding them for the training that they are giving to others in actually helping to develop the business. Right, there's a lot of a lot of benefits there. Does it add to something that, in terms of the action coach, we uh, like to encourage business owners to um, add value into their business through systems and processes? So if it was to be sold, for example, or someone else was to, to come in, that um, it's kind of almost off the shelf because you're going to get more for for all that hard-earned effort that you've got. And you're taking things out of your head and putting them into systems and processes where someone else can come in and yeah, run the business, which is going to add more value. So does it help help with that? Have you seen that, experienced that through clients? Absolutely, absolutely. Um, all too often our um, SOPs, our, our, our manuals in the practices, um, are just these sort of dusty files that sit up on a, on a shelf somewhere. And by taking that out and making it a live training thing, it does mean that you have got a much better idea um, of, of getting that information out, of getting that training disseminated throughout the whole team. But you're also recording who's got the information. And um, you know, with changes in protocols, if you have a change in protocol, you can be certain that that change has actually been disseminated through all of the staff members. You know, if you change the way you're doing something, it's great to say we've changed this, but you need to be sure that uh, the team members involved are actually now adopting that new system. Mm -hmm. And one of the things I'm very pleased with is, is by uh, adopting a, a, a document management system approach, we uh, include an archiving session um, you know, within the system. So if you do update your protocols, the old systems are archived and you, know, you have a log. Um, it's even automatically version numbered as well. So you actually have that archive of the previous ways that you do things. So things I say like ISO, where you are required to look at your processes and to review them, mm -hmm. you can have a very, very good record of that you know, right the way through. Fantastic. So in terms of going into the journey of the business a little bit more and actually uh, going from the start of training progress and, and to where you are today, how would you describe that business journey to, to date? Some people say roller coaster, or they say I'm like it's been amazing and then expanding on that kind of description yeah it would be it would be um whenever you speak to anybody about the business it's always amazing huge growth fantastic um, yeah. we've been a slow burn um you know is the honest answer we've been a slow burn um the software initially i say it was developed purely for in-house use so um it was sort of a fairly clunky database and, and just logging things um but as time goes on, there was a realization that people wanted to work from home more and uh, making it more accessible. And so now we have a very uh, sleek interface um, for our team members to use and to follow through. And it's been that gradual change um, you know, with that. And, and, and with the change, um, it became a, an attractive proposition for uh, other businesses, not just veterinary practices, but any business that has a set of systems um, procedures that they want their team members to follow and they want to be able to record the team development. Um, they want to be able to reward um, to your team members for progressing. They want to be able to reward team members for providing training to other team members. Um, all of these things became integrated into the system. And it's, so it's been this sort of gradual um, you know, change going through. But it's it's been rewarding from... Uh, attending a number of conferences where um, your keynote speakers have, have looked at what we're doing and have said, this is fantastic, this is great, this is just what we need, and taken you know, the ideas back across the States um, to try and implement there. So, yeah, it's it's been a slow burn, but you know, we're, we're you know, picking up a little bit of speed now um, you know, with it and certainly widening our, our audience you know, in terms of um, the types of businesses that are involved and, and want to take part in training progress. Fantastic. So what are the, the challenges, opportunities look like? Is it growth for you? Um, and then how you do that? What, what does the future look like? The biggest challenge is it's, it, if you are trying to sell training progress, it's not like, you know, I have a widget and my widget is, um, you know, five pence cheaper than somebody else's widget. And it's made out of something that's a bit more resilient. You know, you have a, a very simple, a very concrete, a very easy sell um, in, in, in those terms. The adoption of training progress is a little bit more of a, uh, 
a lifestyle change in the way that you can manage your business. Um, I think actually realizing that as a business owner, you don't have to do everything yourself. You can delegate it. And ideally, you can delegate to delegate to delegate so that you have our uh, lowest team members involved in that active training. And bringing that on um, really does help the business go forwards. Fantastic. Again, a um, good couple of shares within what you've said there. So what would you say is the biggest lesson that you've learned, perhaps not just in training progress, but over your career to date? and running a, a practice yourself and training progress, uh, an entrepreneurial business lesson that you could share that it's the biggest one for you? I think have good friends, friends that you can trust, trust and you can bounce ideas from. Um, I think, you know, we, we, we always need expert advice, but you need to temper that expert advice by do you believe that expert? And um, sometimes sounding those ideas um, you know, with with friends and colleagues that have um, a similar knowledge, and, and very much in the way that um, you know, action coach will work in terms of bringing people together and allowing you to share experiences. I think that's actually one of the most important things to do in a business. Great, right. yeah, we are good advocates of that as well. I mean, even the other day, I was just talking to a, a colleague about how important it is to get it from. <laughs> I'm not going to describe maybe the, the brain in, in the exact terminology, but from the back part of the brain, right to the frontal lobes and, and sort of vocalizing things in order just to work it out yourself and having somebody or some people there to kind of share what you're thinking and then be able to um, yeah, work it out is really, really important, especially if you work on your own a lot or you're thinking about solutions a lot yourself in your own head. And I think as you, you mentioned earlier, I think one of the uh, one of the key things, certainly as you get towards a later stage of a business and you're looking at your exit strategies and things like this, if, if all of your knowledge is 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 contained you know, here and <laughs> you haven't shared that knowledge or put it down on paper um, or ideally on a computer system so you can then transmit and allow that business to go forwards. I mean, the ideal should be that no business requires um, any particular individual you should always be able to have that knowledge base shared you shouldn't have these knowledge silos tucked away so ensuring that that uh, the business processes are shared throughout the whole team or to the appropriate members of the team um, you know, will certainly allow an easier transition and, and will certainly add great value to your business good stuff another good share there bob thank you so in terms of your advice to someone starting out in business what would that be? Would again, be sharing, you know, uh, with with colleagues around ideas and and, and things and yeah, getting. Yeah, I think feedback? it's. Would it be it's like also being aware it's going to be hard work. Um, yeah. I think that there is uh, there is a an expectation. I think in in, in sometimes that, that that success will happen immediately and that um, you know the Ferrari will be parked in the drive next week. Um, you know these things don't happen. Well, unless you're very very lucky. But it is going to take hard work and it takes commitment and you need to put the time in, you know, to, to make that happen. But keep your friends close, um, you know, keep uh, keep your family um, happy and at the forefront of your mind. Um, you know, the business is there to work for you. You shouldn't be working for the business. Nice. Like that. And um, inspiration for you to do what you do. Uh, what is it that makes you want to carry on with training progress and you know i suppose um you know want you to wake up in the morning and and, and do it again and do it again do it again and, and, and keep pushing it out there i think it is the and it sounds very kitsch but it's the joy of actually um having team members knowing what they're doing and if they are confronted with a new uh, a new challenge or a new problem that they have a resource that they can go to that they can get that information and the problem goes away because they can use that backup and seeing team members develop so that uh, starting as a junior member of staff but gaining that confidence because you know even at a a low level task of say cleaning kennels and things you know they, they've become competent at that they're signed off at that they're then able to then train another member of staff coming in a new member of staff into how to properly provide hygiene in that area and things 
And seeing those individual staff members develop and grow in confidence, you're supported by our systems trundling through. Um, that that really is fantastic. Yes, I can imagine. Uh, but yeah, that what you described there is a real kind of inspiring opportunity within your business to kind of see see people flourish. Thank you for that share. Um, so then, lastly, in terms of latest news around what you're up to for training progress. Um, or even if it's just a case of sharing uh, your website or where people can get in touch, you can do that now. Okay, thank you. I mean, one thing we have done is that, as I say, we're really trying to broaden our audience um, you know, for you know, training progress and the benefits of it. Um, we have opened up a, um, a freebie light version of training progress so that you can actually explore the system. Um, so we have a light version um, that you're able to use that obviously has a limited number of users and a limited number of topics and things that you can put in. Um, so we have a, a light version that can be signed up to. But probably more importantly is that one of my colleagues, Laura, is now purely dedicated to um, you know, providing um, you know, a one-to-one -one introduction to the system. And so she has a diary available. Um, so if you want to spend half an hour or so learning how training progress can make your team's training journey so much easier and so much more controlled um you know then we have these two links that you'd like, like to follow okay brilliant if you want to pop it on screen it's a qr code is that right okay so yep uh i do a oh, it's not allowing me to do a screen share oh, there we are. We'll also share the links on the uh, on LinkedIn and, and YouTube as well, so people can can get in touch and find the QR code that way. So yeah. this is the QR code for um, you know, for Laura's um, exploratory journey through training progress. Fantastic. So yeah, if anybody wants to reach out and speak to Laura and have an idea of how training progress can benefit your business. Get the QR code onto your phone and uh, set up a meeting with Laura. Bob, it's been an absolute pleasure talking with you. I really appreciate your time. Thank you very much for sharing your experience. And I wish you all the best for the future success of the business. That's great. Thank you very much indeed. And uh, you know, great success to Action Code going forward. Thank you.